Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to my sort of messy place now. This is like a, uh, uh, well I wouldn't normally do this but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you about this because I have intensive care here. In intensive care, my little uh, Runcam Thumb Pro and the reason why it's in intensive care in that bag there is because I've got to see if I can take out the voltage regulator. Uh, that's on the input because I killed it yesterday or at least I'm pretty sure that's the part that I killed I hope that's the part that I, I killed and the reason why I killed it is even though it was connected to 5 volts the maximum it would take I think that is 500 milli milliamps and I figured I could like take it off the voltage off the board here or off the 5 volt off here anyway I, you know, this, is, this is my little practice lightweight it's a lightweight frame 85 grams or something it's my little practice thing i just fly it around outside in the garden nice and low figures of eight and up and down and around the garden just for a bit of fpv just to keep my hand in um on this and so i have this flight controller on there this is the matic um f405 std it's a great little flight controller yeah, cheap enough does everything i want it to don't need a really really hyper fast thing because i don't fly around like that now, you know, everything's all good, it's all working. I thought, yeah, I'll put my little camera on. I'll stick this little run cam uh, pro on and uh, plug it in. I set myself a bit of five volts uh, coming off and I put it in and plugged it in. And oh, the magic smoke came out and the smell. Oh no, I knew I'd killed something. Anyway, it turns out, it's, you know, I'd done everything right. It was on five volts and everything. Uh, but it turns out that the regulator, or at least uh, one of the regulators on here, has died. And so what I'm getting out of it, where's my little multimeter gone? What I'm getting out of it, even with 12 volts in, if I just connect, um, oh, if I just connect this up, my little power supply up the top there. So we've got 1202 volts there. And if I plug that in there and just get this little multimeter this is great from the bench this is because it's so small stick it on dc stick that down there hopefully you're going to be able to see that and if i go for a little probe about and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go on to uh bring the light down a bit hope it doesn't start flashing or doing anything weird uh so we're not going to get anything from 12 volt regulation but on the 5 volt oh and that stays there on the 5 volt you're going to see here, if I minus plus on there, look, we've got 9.92 volts. And that's because the voltage regulators died on me. Now, I didn't realise, you know, I, I got no idea because the, the camera that's on there, that, that's all right, that can go up to 36 volts. And the VTX again, that can go up to high voltage. Uh, but I did decide to stick my little GPS Com and compass on here, my little uh, satellite receiver and compass, so I hope that's not dead because that's a strict 5 volts as well, and I hope that's not dead um, because I figured I could just, you know eh, this isn't really what this is for like I say, it's just for keep me keeping the hand in but um, no, I was going to play around with this pin on there and uh, so you can see on the 5 volt output on there I've not, I've got just, I've got a couple of volts, I've got the dropout voltage of the regulator um, on there, and this is a, another board, it's another one, exactly the same power distribution board, and on here, if I plug this in, you'll see um, that my 5 volts will be 5 volts, so there's my little 5 volt thing down there, shut that out of the way, my little 5 volt thing down there, it's there, and if I click over to here, oh, so you can see that, you'll see there, we get on there, well, that sounds mini volts, what am I doing wrong here, that's on a DC here, let me just, that's me 5 volts, so once I've been regulated, we should have 5 volts there, but we don't have 5 volts there. What's going on? I've got the right wires. And, ah, look, I've got one probe from one multimeter. There we go. We have both uh, probes from the same multimeter. That's definitely going to help. 
definitely going to help. So there we go, look, 5 volts. Just, just do that so you can see that a little bit better. And we got a 5 volt regulation. And that's good, because that means I can, you know, I can go straight off the 5 volts here. Everything else, it doesn't matter. The VTX I use TBS, and that's 36 volts, I think. And the cameras are good for 36 volts. So I can just put them on VCC. It doesn't matter. We're not going to get 12 volt regulation, because I already stick a uh, 3S on here. But, yeah, what a pain. What a, you know, what a complete and utter... Oh, that's... And I had no idea. I had no idea that the one on here, that the uh, the regulator had gone. So that's a, a quick way you can kill your 5 volt dependent. You know, pretty strict on the 5 volt this is. The little, uh, it's a 65k5 in there, voltage regulator. Uh, yeah, it's 6 volts input maximum. So, and that's the real smelly end. Um, yeah, let me show you. And it's the real smelly end that I can smell it from. So if I just pull that off there, uh, pull that off there. Can you? That's unscrewed, isn't it? Yeah. Ow. And it's not on this side. Okay. Pull that out of there. So now I don't know if I can zoom in well enough on this. Let's give it a go. Oh, here we go. Right. Oh, you see this little bugger here? Where's my angle? Yeah, I think. Oh, you see that there? I think that. I think this. I don't know if this is a reverse protection diode or not, but it's either this. Or this because I can't see. You might be able to see the numbers on it. Very hard to see. See that if I get it like that. But anyway, I'm hoping that's what's gone. The voltage regulator it shouldn't be right reverse because it wasn't put on in reverse. But those voltage regulators are to bring it down to like 1.8 volts or something. So yeah, so that's, I'm going to try and uh, see if I can replace it. That's not going to be an easy task. But just in the meantime, it's going to go back into its uh, intensive care box bag even. And uh, and we get that sorted out. So yeah, that's, uh, this is me sort of like, a, hey, I'm back, you know, I'm just, Summertime, that's going to see some family up there and down there and and do. And in the meantime, um, I hope everyone's been well. And uh, I will give you a little, uh, maybe a little video of this. I don't really done any flight videos like with this. Because this, like I say, it's just what I keep my hand in with. And it's not using the latest gear or anything like that. It's just using a F405. This is perfectly adequate for me. It's got four UARTs I can use, it's got on-screen display, it's got everything I need on there. Allows me to have a compass, you know, VTX control um, with uh, smart audio so I can control it with the sticks on the radio. Um, you know, it's got everything I need. The editing, in actual fact, I think there is another space for me on there. I think I can use um, um, RX4 so I can actually can control the run cam thumb as well, turn it on and off from a stick on the, on the remote control. Um, I didn't really think I needed that because I was just pressing the button on the front, but you can do that. But anyway, that's it. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye for now.